Hey guys, welcome to my compound and appreciation questions. These are common in your exam papers uh, on foundation towards back, at the beginning of a higher paper, or if you're just doing business studies or you're just getting into a job in finance and you need a refresher course, here we are. So I've done them all for us because it would just take too long to write them out with you guys because I know that your attention span is not great. So compound interest just means you're earning money. Depreciate means you're losing money, okay? So when you come across these questions, you need to highlight or underline key piece of information. So I've underlined compound interest, amount that's invested or the amount and the amount of years with the percentage. Now I'll use this formula. Some people don't. You can choose which one you feel most comfortable with. I just like it nice and simple. So I just have brackets one plus R, which is my percent, my rate, and my T is the year. That's it. So compound interest is a plus, depreciation is a minus. Right, using what we know, this is a compound interest question, so we're gonna be adding. So the amount that we're looking for, I've just used it as A, equals what we've got in the question, which is 500. And then we have 5% over three years. So I plug that in as 1.05 because it's an adding. I've added my percentage to the power of three. That's my years. So plug that into your calculator this bit first and you will get a big number, 1.157625. And then finally, I'm going to times that out, which will give me 578.8125. Or... You could just put that into your calculator and voila, you have the same answer, but missing a step. I can't do that because I need to show you how we got there. So now we have our 578 pound and 8125, and we're gonna subtract our 500 pound, which will give us 78.8125. It hasn't asked us to round it down or anything, so I've just left it in that format. But I'm sure they will get you to um, round it off. The reason why we subtracted that is because it's asking how much compound interest was earned on £500. So it's just asking us how much has been on top of that £500 which is 78.81. So that's why we've subtracted that. Now, this is a depreciation, exactly the same, guys, but it's a negative because it's a depreciation. So I've got the amount we're looking for is 12,000, and then we have one minus a percent, which is 0.10 to the power of two. Or, if you're like me, you know that it's 0.90, but... You can pop it in the calculator and it will spew out 0.90 squared. Put it in your calculator, you will get 97.20. Remember, you could have missed this step and whacked it into your calculator, but I always think it's good to understand how we got there. So the value after two years, what would its value be is 97.20. Okay, that is the interest. Now, it's asking you the value after two years, sorry, is 12,000 minus 97 plan 20, because we want to work out how much the car costs now after two years, which is 11,902 plan 80. So that's a pretty standard question um, in your exam. So try and remember those. Sarah deposits £800 in a bank account and that pays 4% compound interest per year. How much will she have after five years? So this is just basically asking us how much she's going to get after five years. So it's £800 and it's a plus, isn't it? 
because it's compound interest. So it's going to be 1.04 to the power of 5. You can whack that into the calculator and it spits out this amazingly long number. Or you could just put that straight in the calculator and you will get nine, £973.32232192. This question does say round your answer to the nearest pound. So doing that, it's 973. So she will have, after five years in a bank account, 973 pound. It's not bad, is it? 173 pound. So this is a classic. This is a classic question. A machine costs 3,000 pounds and loses 15% of its value each year. What will the machine be worth after three years? Loses, just means depreciation and it's gonna be a negative. So the amount equals 3,000, right, one minus 0 0.50 to the power of three. Just sort this out. 0.85. I know that, but you may need to put that in the calculator. And then you plug it all into the calculator and 1842.375 come up. It's asking us what the machine be worth after three years, and it literally just does that. So I've done it as £1,842.38p. So there's no subtracting anywhere. It literally is how much will it be worth after three years. So, quite a fast-paced lesson. So, if I was you, I'd make notes and try the questions yourself um, and work out what formula works best for you. Okay? Bye-bye.